Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Blind Beholder and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how I got Elden Ring up and running on my Linux desktop PC. So let's jump straight into it and go through what I've got to show you. So here's Elden Ring in my Steam library. As you can see I'm very much on Linux. Uh, I've played for about 10 hours. Uh, I won't be leaving a review just yet. Uh, I like to play games to completion. Uh, before I do that and I never play games to completion so uh, it's not very often that I actually get to leave a full review for a video game. Uh, this one I can tell already I'm going to be putting a lot of hours into and uh, yeah so let's, let's dive into what we've got. So the first issue I had with Elden Ring was my controller. I have an Xbox One controller uh, plugged into my PC through USB. I don't have Bluetooth on this desktop uh, so that's what I do but you just want to come down to controller settings uh, desktop configuration bring up this window you want to browse configs because it won't be uh, using the correct one by default go into templates gamepad and then press X on your controller to apply that configuration now Elden Ring should pick up your Xbox One controller completely fine and you should be able to play the game Okay, next I want to go into my properties for Elden Ring and for launch options I found these ones on ProtonDB. Uh, somebody who got the game running with good good uh, gameplay standard had this selected as their launch options. I'm not 100% what they all can what, what they all do. Um but Game mode, I know, I know game mode run command is uh, to launch game mode for that game. But more importantly, under compatibility, you want to be on Proton Experimental. Uh, that allows the game to run flawlessly with easy anti-cheat running. Now, if you're new to Linux, then that is absolutely... You don't know, the, that, that, that is absolutely amazing. This is the first ever game with easy anti-cheat that I've come across that allows... Uh, the game to run in multiplayer on a Linux system. Now I, I'm, I'm sure that had something to do with the launch of the Steam Deck um, and uh, the development time for Elden Ring. But even so, that is a uh, it's definitely a, a, a major achievement from from software uh, to have that up and running. So uh, once that's all set up, the game should launch. Okay, and there we go, and I'm really glad it did that, because uh, that is one of the only issues I'm having with Elden Ring at the moment, is sometimes it just doesn't launch. Uh, I don't know what causes it, uh, but it's very simple to solve. All you have to, Sometimes all it takes is a, just to close the application down and launch it again, or worst case, um, I just restart Steam, and then it just works. Uh, sometimes it takes a few attempts, sometimes it just works straight away. It's almost always when I been on the game, turned it off, and then I've gone to start it up again that it's done this. I'm just going to go ahead and show you some Elden Ring gameplay. Um, I'm near one of the bosses. Um, I'm not going to spoil where it is or show you the map, but there, there is a boss right here. Uh, I think I left this message because this fog gate isn't the uh, first time that you come. It's just an open gate and you go through and there's a boss. <coughs> I might go a bit quiet while we fight him. He, he is a he is fairly difficult to kill. Not when he does that though. He gets some big damage on. Okay. Alright, so. Put my. Fall of Grace. Sorry if this he. <laughs> Though if the commentary isn't quite up to standard here, this this guy is going to beat me for sure. Even though it might look like I'm doing quite well now, it's the, it's the second phase of the match where he just steamrolls me. But as you can see, the gameplay is completely playable. Ooh, I'm not really badly. I do want that ready. Do a bit stamina boost. Okay, we're doing some good damage here. 
a bit of that, a bit of <laughs> Dark Souls PvP style. Haunting. Oh, I hit that move. Back to my... Oh, that's the move we wanted him to go for. The is all completely open, he's going to get his hammer out now. Thou art of passing, Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. You're not wrong. Touched. Do the run. Jesus. So yeah, um, really not very good at fighting him <laughs> once the uh, once the hammer comes out. Uh, that, is the, that is the face that I'm definitely struggling with because I have the least amount of practice against it. Uh, but that was just an example to show you that this game is is very very playable. Uh, I've, I'm about ten hours in, maybe a little bit more after recording this, and uh, I'm absolutely loving it. It's been a, a fantastic experience. I've seen a lot of the reviews from Windows PC users. Um, Uh, slating the game for various bugs, uh, and I've not come across any of those bugs myself. So, uh, it, it does seem like it's it's working even better on even better on Linux than it's working on PC, because I'm I'm not coming across any of these uh, bugs that they've been mentioning. Uh, I would like a different weapon though. This. Uh, Sword that I can go through. Uh, it's really not the best if I'm, I'm trying to break his guard, but I wasn't going to with that great shield. And the soldier helm. Are aiming, buddy, but yeah, we go. Hey, we finally got some greaves. Uh, so I've nearly got the full armor set now, I think. It's quite nice. I do like collecting uh, armor sets in these sort of games, very enjoyable to me. Uh, where was that message that helped me before? Let me see where it is. Just here, where we checked our weapon. Uh, so there was one that said, uh, you try left, go stealth, and uh, that, that, that really helped me get through that area uh, without suffering too many deaths, but uh, I can't seem to find it now, maybe it's the first one, well done ahead, very helpful. Uh, oh, group of enemies here, yeah, and I'm, I, I really want to get the full armor sets, these guys both have shields, I think they can drop those. Uh, I've played this completely blind so far. So no. No looking at the wiki or anything like that. Uh, I'm just having a really good time with it, to be honest. It's, uh, it's been a fantastic, fantastic game. Uh, but that's just probably going to end the video here. I just wanted to show you that uh, I can put my money where my mouth is. The game runs. It's. Uh, I don't think it's quite at 60 FPS now while I'm doing desktop recording from OBS, but when I'm in solo play, it's completely smooth, completely playable. And this sight of grace, that's probably going to be the end of the episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the description some of your best moments in uh, Elder Ring. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to, what, what made you get the game, why you play on Linux, anything like that, I'd love to know. So thank you all for watching, my name has been Blind Beholder and this was Elden Ring on Linux.